did it again. So it's sign in required. I guess there's some Wi Fi things around here, but it's really annoying. I want to just keep going though. Maybe I'll have to get away from civilization. I don't want to settle down though. I don't want to stop somewhere. So, but anyway. So, what was I? Oh, computers, predictability. Um, these systems that we're putting in place and the way that life is arranging things. Um, sure, if you have, you know, multiple organisms, multiple, um, like groups, tribes, let's say tribes, the, the thought that came to mind was like a, um, an orchard, like an apple orchard, and uh, two different tribes. Okay, one tribe goes there, you know, and they're, they're eating just enough to get by, but not enough to take too many apples away so that the orchard continues to do its thing, you know. Um, I don't know if this really works very well as an analogy, but, um, and then the other tribe comes and just, let's say, cuts down the orchard. You know, they want wood, they know that there, there are trees there, um, and they have apples on them, so they take the apples, they eat them, and they want the wood, and so they cut the trees down. Now that's removed some degree of predictability from the other one, and you could say that those two, um, maybe that's just a, a lack of communication, really. And, and that that's what we're trying to avoid. That's what we're trying to, um, well, maybe not avoid, probably a better word, but um, what we're trying to get around is these failures of communication. Which, I mean, just look at it. Look at the emergence of the internet. Emergence of the telephone system, the wires, um, language, okay? All of this is an emergence of communication so that we can arrange for situations to be just uh, more manageable. And so that we, we screw up less. You know, I mean, screw each other less. So life screws itself less, you know. But uh, I also kind of thought about, um, I don't know, the right word, you know, there's, but the word capitalism comes to mind. And you have uh, people who have large portions of the market, sort of, not quite monopolies, but just big, you know, they grow, they become a business, they, you know, they get a thing going, you know, like Microsoft or Coca-Cola or something. Um, they get these systems going. And another good one, I mean, uh, the, the gas stations, the, you know, that, that whole thing, the fossil fuel industry. That is very predictable and it's it's very um structured there is a lot of intent there and a lot of uh i wouldn't say at that point there's not a whole lot of um a whole lot of emergence going on it's more um it's more you see things are at that point it's it's almost it's almost like we're going backwards. No, I wouldn't say that. Maybe life is going backwards in making things, and I'm really concerned a little bit about, you know, the wind. Oh, I'm messing with the microphone, but anyway, these, I am, I am a little worried for, for what it means to be life. Because life, life has so much potential, but the more that we lock ourselves into these predictable arrangements, the, the more predictable our future becomes and the less sort of, you know, um, options we have, but Whatever we achieve will be what we are capable of. I mean, obviously. And, uh, you know, you'd, 